Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. This is the first of the uh, landscape updates that I'll be doing in uh, 2021 on this urban lot in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. I started on a very extensive landscape project here last year. Uh, there is a playlist on my channel that I'll link up here in the corner um, covering uh, all the all the progress that's been made so far. So it may not look like I did a lot, but if you go back to the beginning of that, you'll see uh, that I did, including things like that shed and um, a screen porch back here and other things to the uh, actual house as well. And that continues uh, this season. I wanted to start in this spot because somebody, my neighbor back here had cut some things down. It allowed me to see uh, back here, three houses that I couldn't see. I actually couldn't see back here before. I could if I you know, looked through there, but you know, now they're in full. Uh, view. So one of the first things I got to do here is get figure out a, a screen back here. I've got a hydrangea paniculata that I brought back from uh, Dr. Durr's um, that visit I made there in October. I think um, I did some video work for for, uh, for uh, International Plant Propagator Society, and uh, he gave me this one, you know one of a kind um, hydrangea paniculata. I think I'm going to tree form it on the side. So you guys have seen like tree form limelight hydrangeas. Um, so I'm going to do that with that one. So you'll get to see that um, process. And then I've got a copper top viburnum uh, also that I'm going to put a little further over here that should give me a big evergreen screen because that hydrangea will go to sleep uh, in the winter time. But um, I got a really nice copper top viburnum over there. So you'll see that uh, in a video. I just got back from the uh, Gulf Coast and I uh, visited uh, 10 different nurseries in Georgia, Florida, Alabama and uh, Louisiana rode around with those guys. Brought back a few plants from that that you guys should, um, you know, ho hopefully you'll enjoy uh, when those things go in. I've got containers coming today from uh, Michael Carr Designs. I put that video up last week when I visited him and I picked out a few things that he's sending me. And uh, I got soil cube compost coming, uh, I think next Tuesday. And so this garden is gonna get torn out uh, between now and Tuesday and a fresh layer of compost is going on. Uh, soil cubes only available in Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. There may be somebody that delivers though bulk compost uh, in your area that you can find um, or bad compost, whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm lucky enough that I have them locally. So I'm gonna use their compost uh, in this uh, garden space right here. And then I'm gonna be planting some potatoes in uh, grow, uh, larger grow bags than I used last year. Uh, so that's coming. And then I've got a big load of plants coming from Alabama and about half of them are for this yard and the other half are for a one day landscape job. I've got a friend who's doing a small foundation planting and we basically designed something while I was down in Alabama over the phone for this foundation planting. So you guys are gonna get to see that one day landscape job coming. Um, and so let me walk around the yard and show you a couple other things that are coming up here uh, in this backyard. I'll show you a few of the plants I brought back from the Gulf Coast in a second, but you guys have seen this uh, windmill palm right here. I want to show you a different palm that I just brought back. So this is an Atlas Mountain palm or a blue uh, fan palm. You see this beautiful new blue foliage on it. Uh, like I say, it's got a similar kind of growth habit to, uh, to windmill, but you can definitely tell it has a distinct new uh, blue foliage, which will be more distinct as it starts uh, putting on some new growth here in the spring. So excited about that palm. I've always wanted one of these. They're not inexpensive. Uh, this uh, uh, right here is another one of those jewel box uh, distillium. It's got some flowers still on it. I had that one in the backyard, but I, uh, I wanted another one. Um, this is a uh, Walter's Dwarf uh, Viburnum obovatum or a, uh, a small leaf arrowwood viburnum. I've got that Ralston's Hardy in the backyard, which is a, also a small growing one. I don't even know if I'm planting this one in the backyard. I've just never done a video on it. It thing blooms all winter long which is kind of amazing. My uh, Rol Ralston ha has flowers on it back there. And we've seen 20 degrees. I brought back so so several uh, hookerella right here. And I finally got my hands on another one of these Burning Love Lakothui right here. Look at the winter color on that Lakothui. I had one of these at the uh, old house and um, I just haven't had any availability that I've seen uh, since I was there. So, uh, but I finally have one now. I may just put it in a container. They don't particularly like wet feet our poorly drained soil in my area, but I think it'll look great in a container with that beautiful uh, winter coloration. And then that stem color is amazing as well. So here's looking back toward the screen porch, which I just uh, talked about. Uh, the front of the house you'll notice in videos is actually still green. I did the siding on the uh, back, but uh, that's the next step here on the house. Construction is getting the uh, siding finished all the way around the house. And uh, this is that copper top 
um, viburnum. I had planted one of these at the uh, old house, but a great plant. It's not showing any of that red color in the winter time, but all the new growth on it is, uh, is that red color right there. So it's, it's, it's zone eight hardy, but I didn't have any problem with it uh, at all uh, at the old house. So um, it, we'll see, I got a Roman candle Roman Candles uh, Podocarpus right there. I haven't decided what to do with. There's a video on the channel tomorrow for Daphne uh, right there. I don't know that I'm going to plant them yet. It's supposed to rain seven out of the next 10 days, but uh, I'm going to uh, talk through them. This variety right here, this wild winter is just really, really beautiful. Uh, several different variegations in that. Let me get a little closer. You can see kind of different variegations on the same, on the same plant. There's an Edgeworthia uh, that's going in right there, another uh, Pieris uh, that's going in. Uh, I've got to get, um, there's that uh, tree form uh, Encore Azalea. I don't even think I showed uh, when I planted it. And then I'm gonna spin around here. I just got back into town. I got to rake the leaves off the grass and several other projects. These uh, Hydrangea paniculata, these white weddings right here, the, I'll go ahead and uh, take the flowers off of these. Now they've actually looked good through the winter. One thing that everybody's anxious to see me do is this fence project. And uh, it's gonna start very soon before I left. Um, something that I didn't talk about is I already took out the fence. There's the pieces laying back there. This is a this has always been a temporary fence because the other fence was kind of destroyed back there just to keep the dogs uh, in. Of course, the temporary fence will be gone as soon as the other fence um, goes in. I'm starting with the back, back there, but there's uh, pieces of it laying here that I cut out before I left. So. Once the rain lets up, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, put the four by four post in and uh, get rolling uh, on that. Uh, I've got a rabbit that's causing me havoc back here that I'm working on uh, catching. There's some uh, black mondo right there that he's kind of eaten eaten to the ground. There's a hellebore right here that's starting to uh, bloom. Um, all of these were very small last year, so they're not going to be super impressive. Uh, this first spring and this marvel mahonia continues to continues to bloom um, it's a pretty amazing plant other another project i got is i've got this grapevine on the corner of the shed and i need to get something up here on the shed to uh, start holding that up it's just kind of flopped over right there so that's a that's another project um, i'll do within the next week so lots and lots of things going on and a lot of evergreen a, a few more evergreen shrubs are going into this space. And uh, one thing about this space is continues to be an issue is all these plants are brand new. So they're all the same, kind of the same height, hopefully during the spring season, start to get some differentiation uh, in the height, but I'm starting perennials, annuals uh, in the house right now. And so these beds will be completely full of color. And of course the zoysia grass will uh, green back up uh, pretty soon. So uh, thanks for following along with my videos. And again, there's just a ton of content. There's like I just said, there's seven days of rain, I think, in the next 10, um, but I'll still manage to get out here and get something done. So uh, again, thanks for following along.